few weeks back, we had covered this model called Mistral 7 billion parameter. Now this is probably the smallest but best model that is out there. Now I have something absolutely amazing that has been built upon this model. Now we know that context lens generation is quite a hassle as it's hard to work with and it's something that is quite resource intensive as well as hardware intensive to run these larger models with larger parameter sizes. However, what if I am to tell you that there is an open source model with four times the context length output than GPT-4. Introducing Mistral 7 billion parameter model with 128k context length. This is way more cheaper and efficient to actually run and it's something that we're going to take a look at throughout today's video. Now just take a look at this example where you're able to use this 7 billion local model with the 128k context and this is by combining the metamorphosis and the last question uh, basically by giving asking the model to write a full story of these two stories and you're basically asking it to write it in bullet format and it's using only 10 gigabytes of RAM to output this huge generated summary of it. And we can see that it keeps on going and going. And this is something that GPT-4 cannot even output as much as this model. It's because this is four times more the context length than GPT-4. It's able to be run on any size above four gigabytes of RAM. Basically, anyone can run this as most computers have more than four gigabytes of RAM. Now, even two months ago, this was something that was unfathomable as many people didn't even have an idea that this could be runnable. Now, for casually connect, like connecting different texts, like stories, this is where sentences usually follow up with others. So this is something that you want to keep in mind when you're generating longer context. And it's something that we'll explore later on in the video. But we can see that it's pretty good with the generation after giving it a follow up prompt. And this is something that will be awesome to work with with a lot of different ranges of tools as well as with different models. News Research had released this yesterday and it's based off the research paper called Yarn, which is efficient context window extension of large language models. Now, if we're able to do this with Mistral, imagine what you can do with many other projects. Now, throughout today's video, I'm going to be showcasing how you can actually install this, going a little bit more in depth on this project, as well as showcasing how you can actually take a look at this on the cloud. So with that thought, stay tuned and let's get straight into it. Hey guys, if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one with me where I can help you with installation, basic consulting needs, uh, have different strategic AI plans for you, definitely take a look at this link in the description below. If you would like to join our ever-growing Discord community, which is completely private, and it offers you so many different perks such as private subscriptions to AI tools for free, you have consulting, networking opportunities, and so much more, definitely take a look at this link in the description below. If you guys haven't followed World of AI on Twitter, I highly recommend that you do so so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. Lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. With that thought, let's get right back into the video. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, we're going to take a look at News Research's new Mistral model, which has been able to develop a new context length of 128K. Now, this is something that we're going to take a look at as it's based off the research paper called the Yarn, Efficient Context Window Extension of Large Language Models. Now, what this basically means is that it's a yet another rope extension method which is representing the abbreviation of yarn it's a compute efficient method to extend the context window of such models requiring 10x less tokens and 2.5x less training steps than previous models we can see that this model uh, was able to further pre-train on longer context data for 100 1500 steps using the yarn extension method which is absolutely amazing as it makes the whole process more efficient and effective. We can see that in previous models, they were able to do this with Llama. Uh, it was able to increase the context length 
for all of these different models using the yarn method. Now, if we go on to the chart, which focuses on the Mistral model, it's able to increase the Tontix length over 120K, which is absolutely amazing. We can see that both, there was also a 64K model, which is the blue line that was able to increase the model but we can see that the perplexity also goes up as the context window is further extended and this is something that we'll take a look at later on in the video now this is something that i'll leave the link to in the description below so that you guys can access all of these things fairly easily now let's get to the next step where we take a look at some of the benchmarks explain what this model is and just go a little bit more in depth on it in terms of the benchmark there are three models they have evaluated. You have the original 7 billion 8K context window model, you have the new Yarn 64K context window model, as well as the 128K context window model. Now, we can see that there is an overview of the quality of degradation. Now, this basically means that as you have a larger context window, the quality of the output drastically is impacted. However, with the new Yarn Mistral 128K context window, there is not that big of an impact and the quality of the degradation is quite minimal. And you can see that with the different benchmarks in which it evaluated the output. We can see from the 64K window to this new 128K window, there is a very minimal uh, degradation of quality which is really really impressive guys this is something that is hard to achieve so huge props to the team that was able to basically configure as well as develop this model so how can you actually access this well you can definitely do so by three different methods you can run it off google collab now there's different google collab links that have been already set in which you can run it now you can use the yarn method, which will showcase a demo and run this new model. You basically just need to input the model card into the presets that are over here. Uh, just set the model paths and you're going to be able to run it off the Google Cloud service. Now I'll leave these links in the description below so that you can access this. But another method is running it off Text Generation Web UI in which you can use this video and showcases how you can do it. You just simply click the one click installer and it will download it. You just then input the model card into the model tab and it's fairly easy. You just paste it over here, download the model and start running and chatting with it right over here. But in the case of this video, I'm going to showcase how you can run it with LM Studio. Now I have another video on this, which I'll leave in the link in the description below so that it will showcase how you can install it. It's an easy way to run any open source model that you want. So in this case, I'm going to open up LM Studio and I'm going to showcase how you can install it using this. So once you have downloaded it, open up the app and we'll get started from there. Now, once you have it opened up on the home screen, what you want to do is paste the model card from Hugging Face. Now, in this case, I'm not able to find it. So I'm going to just remove this, click Mistral 7128 k context length. Now, in this case, you're able to see that there have been able to upload these models over here. Now, if you cannot find the one that you want to install, you can simply go back into Hugging Face and you can copy the link and you can paste it over here to get the clear result. In this case, I'm not able to find the exact news research model as LM Studio is focusing more on finding the quantized models. So you can basically play around with these. It's the exact same thing. If you click on this Yarn Mistral model, you can then install whatever size that you want as well as whatever quantized model that you want to play with. In this case, you just easily click download uh, in my opinion, the best one for me to run would be this 4.14 GB uh, model. It'll take a couple of minutes to install. It's not that big. It's only four gigabytes of RAM and it's something that you can play around with right away in the chat model tab. Once it has finished installing, which I'll showcase later on, you're able to easily load the model and start chatting with it right away. 
Now to save time guys, because of my hardware taking a long time to output the results, I have went along and I inputted this text where I asked it, what is the meaning of AI? Give me a long summary of it. And it was able to give me a good detailed description of it. It was able to generate a good long context. Now you can input a large story and have it so that the model can output a good large contextual uh, AI response, which will be longer than GPT-4 which is absolutely amazing. Now in terms of loading the model, like I stated, you just simply click on the AI chat tab, select the model and load it up right over here. Now you can eject the model and load up another model if you want, but in this case, you can just simply run it over here. It'll take a couple seconds to load it up and you're gonna be able to start chatting with it. Now say for example, if you wanna continue the generation, you can click on continue and then it'll process whatever has been generated already and then continue forward. This is something that we can see with ChatGPT and it's gonna be something that you can do further more to generate larger context with the input that you give it. Now with this thought guys, that's basically a gist of Mistral. Now I'll conclude the video in the next segment of the video. And that basically concludes today's video on this new Mistral 7 billion parameter model with the 128K context window. This is a huge feat in the world of AI going to revolutionize the way we use smaller models. Now this is something that is quite efficient and will be effective in many different workflows. So I'll definitely leave all these links in the description below so that you can access it fairly easily. But that basically concludes today's video guys. Make sure you check out the consulting page if you want to book a one on one with me. Definitely check out the Patreon page if you want to join our private discord with amazing features. Follow World of AI on Twitter. Guys, if you guys don't even want to subscribe, just like this video as it would definitely help the algorithm out. It would mean a lot to me. Check out our previous videos. And with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.